Good morning, everyone. Seems like our dis timer decided to stay in bed today. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome in. We're going to start here in a second. But for some reason, today my headphones are causing me issues. I think we are good now, though. Okay. Shall we get into this? All right. So let's see. In that stream, we finished up the sheep farm. I was thinking we might need to do a little expedition to the Badlands because we could use some more gold. We don't have a ton of it and we need to make power rails to do the zombie curing for the for the trading hall. So we're going to need a ton more gold for that. So I think we might head on over there and do that. Now where did I keep the... There you are. We're getting Nautilus shells from the zombie spawner, which is kind of weird. But hey... If that's where we get it from, that's where we get it from. Let me go ahead and put these shoes away. We need some more torches. We'll need some wood. Food, I think we're good, but we could always... Throw these in a furnace and add them to the stack. I don't think we have anything in these furnaces right now. Go ahead and add that in. We can put this potato away, also from the zombie spawner. I was down there repairing my pick. I think we might need to do a little... The shovel needs a little help. Um, and the sword could use a little help. Let's grab these guys. We'll go over to the enchanting tree and do a repair on those. I actually could just make a new Do that instead. Hmm. Now, let's see here how much this is gonna eight levels. It's kind of an ouch, but we do have the. Uh, can we do that with this guy? I don't think we can. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. That's the silk addicts. Let's go ahead and do that. My regular axes, our pickaxes, is good. But if we can get all our tools healed up, 
we don't have a ton of diamonds. Oh, that took three diamonds. Oh, our shell didn't get completely healed when we did it. Sixteen levels. We'd be better off to make a new shovel. I really need to do something about those guys. Boom. Um, yeah, we'd be better off to make a new shovel. We should probably run over and see what we can get from the enchanting table on this before we do this. We do have some bows from when we traded with the Twismas. Do you have any books? Yes. You know what? Let's run over the enchanting setup. After all that, we end up going over there anyways. Uh, let's check if it's nighttime first here. Yes, yes, apparently it is. You know what that means. Coffee time. We had a few diamonds here. And I suppose I could have put away those blocks. Alright. How many levels did we have? Do we have enough for this? Or did I? Nope. I'm breaking three efficiency. Oh, of course it would rain. Let's. Let's run back down to the zombies motor and get our levels back up. It shouldn't take too long. I wasn't meaning to be so boring today. But hey, that's what we need to do. thing is, is this is where I was when I uh, went to start my episode, my stream today. I was already down here because I had been healing up my tools. Because I went on a massive... Ooh, that sounded like a mean zombie. I went on a massive... A very massive... tree chopping thing in my uh, my pecs were all oh that one looked like a zombie villager wow they're loud today sound here. Well, I'll just turn them down a touch lower in here, because it gets a little loud. Come and I stand in this corner for a minute. They seem to fall faster. Oh my gosh. Do you see that? 
It's a baby zombie riding a zombie. That's why the baby zombies never have any fall damage. They ride on somebody else. Actually, does my sword have mending on it? No. Like, oh wait, it's gonna... It honestly doesn't take super long. A potato and a carrot. Hmm, okay. Usually we get some iron ingots, some armor, that kind of thing. But I have realized that we need to move this up a little because the armor can take up a lot of space. So we want to chant a couple of books, maybe the shovel, the bow. See what else we can get because our bow is not super great, just has infinity. So if we could get something else on that, that would be good. Come on, you can do it. I wish you could make tinted glass panes. That would be really cool. What the heck are you stuck on the stuck on the trapdoor? We'll have to wait for somebody else to drop. I don't know why that happens, considering the trapdoors are flush with the backside of the glass block. But for some odd reason, it seems to do that. I wish you could go further away while this was working. I would go over to the amethyst shield and, and uh, collect a little there, but it's a little too far away. We're up to 30 already. I'm not quite certain what happened, but every once in a while we're getting a drowned. Which is fine, because a lot of times we'll get a copper ingot or a Nautilus shell out of them. But I'm assuming that somewhere in the... ...stream down here, up and over, we end up with a spot they're getting hung up on. And so if you run it long enough, you'll get a lot of them, because they're sitting there in that one spot. Oh, I didn't want that in my inventory. See, look, we got a bunch of armor. I don't want to... Um, we don't have a cleric villager yet in our villager trading hall, which is something that I think we probably need to change here. The problem is, is that we, um, if we do that, we have to put in a whole another round of villagers so that we're up to another 20. Because the way that villager hall is, you have to have 20 villagers per iron golem. And if you don't have the right count, it doesn't work. And then all of the villagers, I'm sorry, 70% of the villagers need to have their workstations in place and be able to work. If they don't, then um, the iron golems don't spawn. So that was one of the things we were running into an issue with when we were building. I was trying to test it. And... Um, it didn't work because 
we didn't have enough villagers with the professions yet. So. I think we get up to like 40 levels and then that should be enough to keep us from using all of them up on the the enchanting. Oh, look at that fancy armor. Standing a little too close. When we get stuff like this, I go ahead and I throw it in the furnace here. And we smelt it down into an ingot. Did you hear? You can hear the water as they whoosh by. Gosh darn it. They don't want you. I don't quite know why that's happening. It should be... It's like if the zombie is too close to that front edge. See? Then it just comes whipping out. I don't know how to stop that from happening. And now we've got a modern trader. Yes, there is one out there. <laughs> Silly man. It's a little slow, but it's not one of the worst experience farms I've used, so, or made. I do think there's still a hang-up somewhere down here, but it would mean ripping apart the whole bubble column in order to fix it, pretty much. I might add some ice to the path from the fall chamber to the bubble column. Which if we come across the, an ice spikes biome in our wanderings, we might do that still. I'd probably drown in the, the making of that, but we'll try. I tested this thing one time. And I stood for 15 minutes here. And since I can't really tell how many zombies I have in there in Bedrock, it was a lot of zombies. And uh, I, I stood there swinging for like three minutes before I killed them all. So I don't want to. I don't want to try that now and have. Um, my frame rate die because that would not be cool but we've got this whole chest full of rotten flesh there is a cleric villager in the village that I use there might even be one in the closer village the village we found when we were making the iron farm but I haven't checked that yet some some ice up on the top as well to push them across easier. Oh, that was an iron ingot.
can sit here and just watch them fly up the B2. Yeah, you can hear them fall into the stream because there's technically like all the water streams that run off the back and then there's one that comes up the side at a lower level and then one that's too lower on the other side. And so you can hear them fall from one of those side streams into the main stream that runs them right along here and then um, they get pushed from that into but I think that down here we need that ice because they're not getting pushed fast enough. They're not getting pushed fast enough from the kill chamber or from the drop chamber into the bubble cone. And then up top, they're not getting pushed across as fast as I think they should be. something that said that you could put packed blue ice down and that would cause it to happen faster. There we go, another poopsie thing. Every time you hear a splash, it's them falling in the water. And so I think what's happening is sometimes we're getting a zombie who's getting stuck like right at the edge of the bubble column or up at the top he's just bouncing in the bubble column before he gets pushed up by the next one and shoved across but this uh spawner actually caused me to die a couple of times while I was trying to make the columns because I couldn't come up with enough string to make scaffolding or anything like that so it, it was a uh, I've made a zombie or a spider or what, skeleton whatever spawner like this before but never with the drop column so you take them up to 20 something blocks push them over and drop them and so then they're one hit when they get here unless they're a baby zombie or wearing armor um, that seems to it seems to work pretty well just zombie flesh out of that one the full enchanted armor with the with the um The gold and everything is pretty rare. I mean, not super rare. I've got a couple of pieces that I've that weren't quite as damaged as others. That I um. Are you a drowned wearing armor? No, you're just a regular zombie wearing armor. Like what the heck? Um. But yeah, I've kept a couple of the better enchanted pieces of armor of gold armor um, for going into the nether <laughs> because it's like you know if you die in the nether you need another piece in order to run back through get your stuff and I die a lot although I haven't died as much as um, I used to I'm getting a little better at the PvP There's some more coming.
I saw a zombie villager in that run. You tend to get three per run is what drops, you know, within a grouping. I think that I must have made a miscalculation and not gotten them quite far enough with my pull on the bubble column, but they still must be in the mob count down here, that it doesn't drop a little faster. The next badge doesn't drop a little faster for me. So I, I tend to AFK at this thing while I'm like cooking supper or washing dishes or something like that. So I'll go stand in my little corner over there for 15-20 minutes at a time. And then I'll come back and this will be full. And I'll be in another one. I don't, you don't want that. Oh, where did this go? I don't know. Nope, didn't quite make it. What? Really? Come on. There we go. And that would be why that lava is there. Because who wants leather armor? I haven't been known to come down here and hit these zombies with my mending pickaxe so that I can get some it healed up. <laughs> it works! Because <laughs> they're one hit, so it's like you hit them with anything. I think that was the wandering trader again. I don't know why they come to spawn down here. Half the time they fall on the, the dripstone spikes and end up hurting themselves or killing their llamas or... I was like, why do you come here? This is not hospitable for you or your animals. I'd love it if they drop an iron tooth, I mean a uh, diamond tooth. That would be kick ass awesome. But yeah, all of these tools, instead of like getting rid of them, I just smelt them up. I don't really need the iron ones anymore, but after a good session with uh, AFK, you can have quite a bit of the gold armor, and that really can help with your gold counts for. Making other things. Drop some more, please. Drop some more, please. You can do it. I'm right here. Come get me. Oh, I heard a whole bunch of them go. I don't know if sometimes it makes them walk into the bubble column if I'm standing here, but it seems like I get more, more of them come if I'm over in this corner than if I stand over there. And I know, like, right where there, where that dirt block is, that's the farthest you're supposed to be able to see and then have the spawner still be on. I think it might actually be the next block over, but that's the last block you can stand on and have it work. And I find the closer I am to the spawner, the better off it works. More gold armor there. Look at those shiny boots. Look at how many are in there right now. And they just stood in that corner for a little bit. 
Oh, look at that. Projectile production for holy cow, look at those boots. Depth Strider? Feather falling? Uh oh. Do you hear him? He's the wandering traitor is either getting killed or Alright, so I think we're going to keep those boots. Um, that we might keep that too. Let's see, what's on our head right now? Fire protection. We could combine those two. I don't know why, for some reason the drown don't, um, that you, you were gonna get rid of. Um, I should put a, an anvil down here. Do we have enough for that? We might. We only have two of those. Just making anvils left and right here, and I, um, you know what we're also gonna do? And we need a bucket. You hear them? They sound like a symphony going off there. wanting to do this. We'll let them collect there for a minute while we do this. There we go. Now we won't accidentally walk into the lava. <laughs> I've almost done that a couple of times. Um, and then let's put down our anvil. Right? Oops, I guess we need the one off our head, don't we, too? Wow, they're a little loud right now, aren't they? Three levels. Either way. Animals flow. All right, all right, I'm coming. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. We had to recoup those levels we just lost on our helmet. And that's another, there's nothing wrong with that helmet. Oh, we don't want you. Did I just pick that back up? I did, didn't I? Why? Why didn't you go in there? There we go. We go. Oops, wrong tool. Gold pants. Fire protection too. 
I think we're gonna keep this helmet too, because there's nothing wrong with that. We can use that to repair. And hold on to that. We'll put that in here. Got another batch fall in. Everybody in the pool. I really should put a bucket of lava in there. Since we have the lava, the lava farm. Just that it smelts. We smelt one thing at a time. You can put a bucket of lava in it and turn it into an auto smelter. That would work. Chest up here. Funnel. Yeah, we might do that. We might do that. Let's see here. Let's make this out of here quick. Put it in there. I don't know why I have so many chests up here. Let's do this quick. Sorry, I need you. to run up and grab some lava. And then we need another chest. Actually, we can make a barrel. We don't need our chest. We make a couple barrels. Yeah, that's right, sticks. I always forget that it sticks in a plank. Let's take care of you guys quick. Thank you. We got an iron shovel there. I don't want you. Oops. We have to go. We're gonna have to go. Alright. And furnace. Alright. Then we need to get up there. We need some dirt. the wrong button. We need you. I like that. Then we need you. Like that. Alright. We can still get into the barrel like that. Bing, bang, boom. We can do... Where's my... I'll do that for right now. Alright, there. What else I was going to throw in there? Wasn't there?
give me some more armor and two sheep mount. Hmm, I thought there was a... So then we can just throw everything in up here. It'll go through. I do not want to rat in the flesh. Look at how much is in there though. Oh, I got another carrot. I must have gotten another ingot too. Not so worried about the iron, considering that we have uh, the iron farm now, and that is working tremendously. I opened up one of the chests. I'm like, oh, we didn't get much since the last time. Then I opened up the chest above it. It was almost full of iron and poppies. And I was like, okay, yeah, I guess that that works. Go stand in our corner for a second. I just want to get us to 35. Here. We don't really need it. I think what we're gonna do is we'll work on this a little bit while we're waiting. These are the ones we wanted to keep. These are the ones we wanted to keep. Throw that back in there. I got I think we might. We'll throw this into the other one. Hey guys. See, now we can reach the chest from here. Don't really need the cobble. Don't need deep slate. Let's 
Still hear a llama out there. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to pick some of those up and run over the village and trade with a cleric. Looting on my sword? I think I do. Yeah, looting too. I think we have a looting villager. Librarian villager that we might, um... See if we can't get that upgraded with some bookage. I need to spend some time just sitting in the villager trading hall trading with everyone and getting a bunch of emeralds set up so that uh so that we can um trade for mending books our mending trade is not like amazingly awful but it's not like super super great either <laughs> want another hopper here that we could throw some lava buckets into up in my super smelter I've got him like hooked into another barrel but the problem is is that it shoots it in if you don't have enough whoa that was some other um it shoots it into the lava bucket into the um, input, the smelting input, if you do it. I don't know quite why. <laughs> We haven't gotten any more Nautilus shells this time around. So close to 36. Not exactly the most scintillating content today, huh? So close, so close. I just don't want to get up there and, and realize I need one more level for something. And I have to run all the way back down. I go ahead and shut this off now. Because we should be able to. Yep, there we go. Alright. Oh, okay, you too. Anybody else want to fall down quick? No? No. Alright, good enough for me. really need to do something about this particular, like, walkway. Whoops. Missed the jump. Okay. 
kind of got to that point and stopped making the path more accessible. So I think we probably should work on that at some point. I really should chop those vines. How's this thing doing? Not too bad. Not too bad. Cactus farms are notoriously slow. Alright. Oh, enchanting area. We've been up for multiple nights now, so there might be something up here. Peek, peek. Before we go. our box to everything for a moment. Alright, let's get this shovel. Unbreaking three. You only have unbreaking two on the other one. What else did we get? Fortune. Okay. I don't think that really helps us a ton, but we'll take it. We probably are just going to leave that as its own shovel. Because we are going to the Badlands, we'll probably gather some sand and some terracotta while we're there. What was the other thing? Oh, this guy. Flame. Power. Why? Meh. Meh. Let's try, um... Sharpness 3. Blast protection one. Let's try another one. Oh. Efficiency. Alright. We're out of levels for that. Put Chi back in here. Put Chi back in here. We're going to leave a book here as well. Let's leave two. Um, and then let's see here. How many levels? 17 levels. Nice. Okay, that's a little better. So not great, but better. Alright, and... Well, let's go ahead and put that sharpness. It's only four. Won't let me do it that way. Okay. Alright. We still need mending on this guy. Alright, let's go clean out our inventory. Um, how are we doing on daylight? Pieces, just a plain glow chest plate and it's fire protection leggings both which uh, um, you know what I think I want to do sorry I got my train of thought was I have some arrows of weakness and I'm thinking we take that along as our arrow. I wonder if that's an infinity arrow. Because we have infinity in our bow. Oh, wow. Power, unbreaking, and flame. So we got unbreaking and power five along with that. Can infinity and power be used on the same bow? I didn't think that was a possibility. I thought it was either or. Huh. I'll have to look that up later. Alright. You know what? I think we'll take that iron with us, but we will leave this iron here. Just in case there's a huge off chance. Silk touch and infinity. 
Do we want to silk touch one of these shovels? I don't think so. I don't think so. We've got silk touch on our pickaxe. We don't really need silk touch on a shovel. Alright, we got our bucket of water. Let's put away these. One more. We'll put these guys away. And then we will straight up. You know what? We're going to grab jungle. We have a plethora of jungle. So let's grab that. That'll be good for making random wood things we need along the way without wasting any wood. We need sticks or that sort of thing. Should we take a lead with us? We do have a saddle and some horse armor. We could... We could tame a horse while we were out. Is it nighttime? Yes. Coffee time. Anyone want to pipe in and tell me if you think I should have um, I should take my horse armor with me? We are going to stay our spyglass. empty bucket if we need one because we have the iron wait no not where empty buckets live oh dude we have packed ice we don't need to hunt down that ice bag spot what was the other thing I was just gonna grab we got a bed we got a table, we got a furnace, we got some wood, more, more coal. Let's make some more torches. Somehow accidentally used my silk touch pit to, to get some coal ore. I was like, oh, I'm going to have to put that all back down. Wow, that was for two days. I ran out of sticks just as I. Yeah, you know what I think. Well, we got a stack of torches and that. Alright, shall we gallivant? Shall we gallivant? I think we've probably got enough day that I can at least get to the village. Oh, yeah, more than enough. I do have a mending villager over here in this village as well. 
but this village is a lot farther away than the trading hall one or that other village that we found at when we were building the trading hall which I didn't even realize we hadn't gone exploring that way really I apparently didn't go around that side of the mountain I think I went up and over the other side of the mountain So it was weird when I had, like walked around the corner and I was like, wait, there's a village here. <laughs> Oops. Alright. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if we go... Hello, villagers. Hello, Iron Golem. If we go this way... We end up coming out at... Oh yes, there's another village over here. And this really cool hanging water feature. But I think that if I remember... Ooh, what just died? Did you see that? Yes. Here are the boats. This is the place where I always get, and then I don't have any room to pick the boat back up. So I end up uh, leaving the boat behind because my inventory space is, whoops, wrong button, is taken up. Now, If I hadn't already mentioned it, I am technically on vacation this week. I'm vacation for my day job. And we, um, the hubby and the kid and I went away to a friend's cabin on a lake for the, for a couple of days. And I'm at that cabin. And as I was thinking about what I wanted to do today, I realized that I had forgotten my notebook that I have all of my coordinates written in. And so I do not have the coordinates to the um, Badlands. I know it was like several thousand blocks out. We had to go quite a ways to get to it. And I have been tasked that if I do any exploring in this world, I need to find a spruce forest. Because that's the one wood we haven't found yet. that it was really close to a huge, absolutely huge, um, coral reef. It was a mass of coral reef. Oh, hi, dolphin. This is a rather large coral reef. So, I'm wondering... Hey, we have silk touch. We could get some sea pickles. Oh, and if I remember correctly, it also was close to... 
a temple. So I'm wondering. I don't remember it being next to a jungle, though. Oh, look at all the coral. Hi there, dolphin. <coughs> so we might get lost here. We might. That doesn't look like it's... Badlands. Hi. Hi, Dolphin. That... I would have remembered this temple. Which maybe I'll save to raid for another day. Um, when my son can, can be with me. Because he likes to do that kind of stuff and we rarely actually get to do it together. So, I think I'll save that particular one. And he can see what's in that one. Alright, we're coming up on night here, which means that I'm going to need to either stop and sleep or just keep roaming. Just keep rowing, just keep rowing. I know that the, that my Badlands was really, it was in the 2000s, well into the 2000s. Where's my spyglass? We'll replace the shovel with it for right now since we might need the bow. Mm, I see a lot of coal over there. And that goes into Savannah. <gasps> Ooh, well, hello. Let's go. the heck? Is he in the boat with me? He's gotta be my ship. Is... Where is he? Yep, he got in the boat with me. Oh, crap. Can I... Back up. Ooh. Oh, did I just weakness myself? Ah, oh, crap. Well, this sucks. You can stay there. You've got to be kidding me. How the heck? They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Oh, this sucks. Oh, no. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh. Mothers. Mm. Okay, people. If you've ever watched uh, Hermitcraft, you'll know that in one of the seasons, Grian had, so you perished packages. I need that right now. I need a so you perished package. <sighs> How am I even going to find that stuff again? Um, I'm going to have to go over the, no, I probably have enough iron here. I'm not going to be able to get a full set of armor back up. <sighs> wow, that was, that was just not right. I have some more diamonds over, how many more did I have over there? Wow. Okay. Man. 
Okay, so that was the first time I've died with all of my stuff on me. I'll take one of you. I'll take you. I don't want you. I don't want you. Oh, I don't want to go all the way out there. It's fine until I get there because, of course, those trunks are not loaded. I think I weaknessed myself. Did you see that? I'm going to have to go back and, and watch the VOD, but I think I weaknessed myself. Trying to shoot that. Is there a helmet in there? No, I used it, didn't I? Um, you know, honestly, I don't care about the iron because I'll probably end up pitching all of this stuff in order to save space. I need some blood. Man, I was impaled by a drowned. All the drowns in the boats. All the drowns in the boats. Ugh. Note to self, don't try to use a bow on a drown that's in a boat. Just maybe. Not a good idea. I need shoes. Not a good idea. Of course, I've lost all my levels, so I can't, uh... Can't enchant anything, I need a shield. Did my shield break too? I think it did. Alright, so we know that we just have to keep going west. If we go over to the boat spot, we keep going west until we get to that weird... That really weird, um, probably should have a sword too, huh? That really weird, um, temple. See? I told you guys, I am not, 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 not good at PvP. Never said I was. And in fact, I die more often than anything. I don't want to take all that iron with me. But if I don't, man, I gotta get that stuff back. All my picks, all my diamonds, all my diamonds. All right, throw you back in here. I don't need that. I'll keep that. Need some coal. You know what? Let's take this charcoal. Um. <laughs> Alright, and for the sake of spitting, let me have one of those. Give me that. And we need some food. Oh, wait, hold on. Ha! We at least have that. It's in our favor, and I think it just became nighttime, didn't it? Alright, so we've got some wood, we got some coal, we got a bed, we got some arrows, not a lot though, and let's, wow that sucked, that sucked so bad, see this is why I don't play hardcore. Uh, All right, shall we? Shall we try this again? That was a lot of drowned.
I really don't enjoy dying. Never fun. But let's see if we can find our stuff. Maybe the drone will have gotten sick of my stuff. Although maybe the dolphins are all playing with it and now it's spread out all over a 12 mile radius. Since the dolphins were with me. Hello again, Gollum. And we follow the cobble pillars. Oops, oh, no feather falling. <laughs> uh, should be a little bit more careful, huh? And over here is our boat spot. Let's actually look out the front of the boat so that we can drive straight, huh? If we have to kill a bunch of drowns to get our armor back, that would not be so happy either. I don't understand how they can get in a boat with you so easily. Wondering what the sheer quantity of them if we didn't, uh, if we didn't have a drone city underneath of us. Hi, Dolphin, I hear you. Love one of Green's perhaps you perished parcels right now. Okay, I think we had it a little bit more this way. We were out like 1700 blocks, somewhere around there. I think that's that, uh, temple, isn't it? Yep, that is. Maybe we'll be lucky and we'll just be able to boat around a little bit and pick everything up.
Oop. You could give me some grace there, buddy. I love it. I think we run around this stone shore. It's daylight, so the drowned in the boat should have. We were looking at the shore. There it is. There it is. This is going to be fun to try and get everything back. Can we not play with the stuff, dolphins? Please, let's not play with the stuff. see here. Let's oh, that scared me. The equipping sound scared me. Oh, I'm too jumpy now. <laughs> Get rid of those. Oh, that scared me. Did he? Oh, I guess I didn't have, I had all. All right. I get, yeah, I got my sword back. I got my bow back. Oh, thank goodness. This is going to hurt me, but you can go away. <coughs> Shovels were up here. Regular pick. What didn't I pick up? Okay. Oh, there's more drum drum. Let's not not say we did it. What did we miss? There was still something bobbing over here. Okay, let's let's go this way for a minute. Get away from where these drowns seem to be so prevalent. <coughs> mm. It was mostly my tools I was worried about, honestly. I don't need that. Oh, I lost my weakness arrows. That's okay. All right. Let's face in the right direction here. And I guess we're going to be rowing through the night looking to not collect any more drowns. <coughs> Uh, 
Spyglass, where are you? Oh yeah, we don't want to go anywhere near that. <clears throat> I think we've been out this way before. Yeah, we've been out here before. I was almost killed a couple of times by a drowned over here. Always fun. far. There go, Chorus. I honestly don't remember it being out this far. You can come so I can... So I can see. Can't see, come on, daylight. Man, I 
I didn't remember it being out this far. It is quite possible that it was, though. Oh, shit. You just stay over there, Mr. Creeper. Stay over there. to drive right over any drowned and pick them up. Hmm. We may have an issue. <coughs> we might not be accomplishing this today. Village. finally going down. It's a sand. Because we are now over 4,000 blocks out. spikes by them. We are definitely not in the right place, people. Not in the right place. Gosh darn it. Huh. I didn't know that. Okay. Salmon. Apparently we should have brought a map with us. I honestly don't have a large map of this world. Okay, how are there sea turtles right next to an ice spikes biome? That does not make any sense to me. None whatsoever. But if we're in a Oh wow, do you see that funky little? That's cool. If we're here, we might as well collect some some ice. It would not hurt us to have it. And this is so far away from Oops. Our 
home that it's not gonna let's I think we probably have enough. We'll complete this stack and then some blue eyes. Did I just see a village over there? I guess I was just seeing that dirt. That's really cool though. The way that formed. way through that. I think I might see some spruce. Oh yeah. be taking a wait a second a swamp in an ice biome 
What is going on here, Minecraft? Hi, wolves. I'm gonna invade your territory a little bit here and take some of your trees. Is that all right with you? We are so far away that I don't really care if I destroy it. I spent it absorbing it all the time yesterday chopping trees and so chopping more is kind of annoying. I literally spent like four hours just chopping trees because I was so out of wood. You know what? Let's Oops. Yes, I hear you. We're probably gonna end up spending the night here. Um, because of how late in the day it is. What? What the heck? Why is it angry with me? What the heck? Why was it angry with me? I didn't hit it. Was it angry with the rabbit? That was really strange. Did I get that spruce tree? I did. I don't need the snowballs. Okay, that was weird. Did you get stuck under her? I really didn't want to set my spawn someplace else because now I won't be home if I have an issue. I should have kept that other bed. saplings do I have now? 12. We'll try for a few more. We don't really need the wood, we just need the saplings.
a little bit more prolific in the the saplings than the dark oak is, because those are atrocious. No saplings. Uh, you're gonna die, sheep. As soon as those wolves see you, you're gonna die. Really? No saplings out of that? How many are we up to? 13. We only got one more from so. What is that over there? Yeah, he's so cute. You're gonna get killed by the wolves. No saplings out of that, huh? Apparently not. Well, that's kind of sucks. another one. Well, we've got enough to, to make quite a few. Did you get that sheep, dude? Because I could use the wool. Alright, so let's take a peek here. I should have thrown that sword away. I could have Try something here. We're gonna leave this bed here because we slept in it. And we're going to If we happen to perish here on our way home, this stuff will all be here waiting for us. Since it's not something we really need. Um, and we're just going to, I'm going to work my way home. I'm probably going to end the stream here. We've been almost two hours today. Um, but I'll probably just work my way home and see if I can't, can we get any more saplings over here? Um, see if... We can't find the bad lines another day because it's going to be a bit of a trek to uh, get home. So we're going to leave this stuff here. I got enough in there that I can make another. I'm going to hold on to my furnace because I don't have any more cobble. But I think it's really strange that there is a swamp next to an ice spikes. And look at that amazing 
floating rock formation there. The problem with exploring and leaving your bed, I mean taking a bed, is you end up um, with your spawn set someplace else, and so then you run the risk of it being, if you pick it back up, then you don't respawn, you spawn at spawn instead of wherever. Oh wow, look at it, it looks good under there. Must be dark enough under the ice for it to, to count. I think that's where I'm going to call the stream for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, we will see you.